Hi everyone, I'm Crystal, uh, making my first video today, um, mostly because I uh, had a ton of messages and comments uh, about a focus wheel comment that I, and picture that I had put up um, in a few Abraham groups, and uh, backwards nonetheless, because I'm kind of new with this whole technology thing. Um, but some lovely woman flipped it, which was great. Um, but I still continue to get some messages um, asking me to explain it a little bit further. And I have to because you are all my Abraham family. And I've watched a ton of videos and they've been helpful for me. And so if I can be helpful to others, it would, it would be great. It would be something new. Um, so again, the feedback I got was, was um, you know, it was great. It was, it was definitely unexpected. Um, and so I'm here to kind of share um, and answer some of your questions. So first off, um, about the focus wheel, what I did want to say was that um, the, the explanation, if you haven't watched any YouTube videos on it yet or, or anything like that, it is an ask and it is given. Um, and it's on page 257, okay? Uh, if you are an Aber and you don't have ask and it is given, shame on you. It's a great book. Um, and why wouldn't you have this book? I mean, come on. But um, I, I did follow, you know, a lot of it. Uh, I did sort of do my own thing also, but uh, just so you know, it is in there. Um, so we'll talk about the, the focus wheel um, in a minute. I just wanted to um, kind of give you a little feedback um, background on myself and the law of attraction real quick. I've been doing it for about three years now, and it's changed my life. I mean, there's just no other way to put it. Um, I knew nothing about it. I went, was going through you know, a big transition in my life three years ago and kind of was looking for something new and, and something that would help me grow and expand. And so my, my wonderful friend, Ellie Pappas, said to me, uh, do you, have you ever heard of the law of attraction? And I was like, no, what is that? It sounds fun. What is it? And so she told me a little bit about it um, and was very kind of, you know, didn't just throw it all at me because, you know, whenever you tell people about law of attraction for the first time, and you kind of vomit everything about it and vibrations and Abraham and all this, people are kind of like, whoa, whoa you're a little weird. Um, so she didn't do that, um, but I did go home and I did my research and I and I, um, I ordered probably about three books that night and watched a ton of videos and that was it. There was no going back and since then I've, I've been a pretty good manifester, I'd like to say. Most of the things that I've... Um, that I've asked for and that I've worked on. I'm a visualization person uh, and a lot of those things that I wanted came true. And so the only thing that really kind of was had me stuck was um, career and professionalism and um, abundance. Um, everything else kind of worked out, um, you know, little stuff here and there. Um, so I kind of did something different and that was the focus wheel and so I'm going to talk about that. So first I'm just going to show you here because a lot of people asked me um, if they could see it. Um, and of course, I, I messed that up because, like I said, I'm still learning. So um, I'm going to read through everything. So don't try to like really quick try to see everything that's here or, or, or pause or whatever it is. I, I'm going to explain what everything is. I just want you to see, um, one, how horrible I am at anything related to this. Um, I drew a circle. I drew a circle around that circle, obviously. I made a few pie slices. I made 10. Um, you can make between 10 and, and 12, um, and just basically that's that's kind of the, the situation of that. I would um, do it first in pencil um, only because, uh, and I'll get to it, you might write some statements that don't feel good, and so you don't want to have to constantly be, be drawing this thing like a million times. So I did everything in pencil, and then when I was done, I, I did... This, this original one. So real quick I want to just talk about going general because um, I got a lot of comments about that and people are really like thank you for you know kind of you know reiterating that and going general is number one. Like I watched a few videos with the focus wheel and a lot of people talked about you know they put in the middle I want a six foot you know, three tall, you know, tall man whose physique is, is outrageous and, you know, is wealthy and this and that. No, like, no. I, you know, I want to win $5 million. I want to win the lottery. Um, you know, I want to have, you know, be 115 pounds and, and be, you know, an athlete. And, you know, all these very specific things that when they're written or when they're said could cause a lot of resistance. And if they don't, then great, then do it. But I, I really think that going general is your best bet and it's going to give you the most, um, the most progress, okay? So what I mean by going general 
is let's say you're talking about money, you know, instead of saying a specific amount of money, um, I would say just, you know, like I wrote in my post, what is money? Money is freedom. At the end of the day, money is freedom. We want money because we want to travel when we want to travel. We want to wake up when we want to wake up. We want to go to sleep when we want to go to sleep. It's it's freedom. You know, having a large amount of money is freedom. Um, so you want to have a statement that's, you know, very related to that and, and, and being free and, and um, being able to do the things that you want to do. If you're looking for a relationship, again, you don't want to be so specific about the type of mate you want. You know, you want to put something maybe, you know, I, I want to you know begin a relationship that fulfills me i want to find a partner that that helps me expand and makes me better i want to um you know find the the, the love of my life you know and just simple things like that instead of such you know specific things um health you know maybe you want to be thinner maybe you want to be more fit maybe you want to be healthy instead of saying you know i want my cancer to go away or i want you know to lose 200 pounds by this wedding um, say, you know, I want to feel great in my body. I want to feel healthy. I want to feel vibrant. I want to feel ageless, you know, and it can just be a simple statement like that. It doesn't have to be, you know, this long, um, drawn out thing um, in terms of career. And that's kind of where this was for me. Uh, I did mention in my comments, I've been a physical therapist assistant for 10 years. I absolutely love my job. I love my job. Um, it's just, it's a job, right? It's, it's, it's a limitation. And um, I can only work a certain amount of hours to get a certain amount of pay. And I still have to ask when I go on vacation. I still have to, you know, be somewhere at a certain time. And although that's great and it's been great, um, I want more, right? Everybody wants more. Um, if when you stop wanting more, you're dead. So you're always going to want more, even when you get what you want. So um, Abraham talks about that a lot and it's, it's the truth. Desire, desire is, is everything. So, um, in any case, uh, I was looking for a lot of different things, um, that would fulfill sort of that, that freedom that I wanted. Um, and so I just was like searching for crazy, like crazy, you know, I love animals. So I was looking at dog grooming and, and dog training and, and being a therapist for dogs. And I was like, oh, well, this is not really, you know, going to work. And this is still not going to be, give me the freedom and the abundance that I really want. So I looked into real estate and home care and I just kind of was like all over the place trying to find like the answer, you know, and trying to like, oh, I got to find this thing that's going to give me this thing that I want. And that's when it kind of like clicked for me. And things just kind of, there was like this epiphany, like, you know, why am I looking? You know, why am I searching? You know, I, I, I source knows. Source knows what I want. I know what I want. Um, and, I, and I said it in my comment, you know, you can't bring a logical mindset to a magical universe. And it's the truth. You just, you can't. There's so much out there that you don't know about. Um, and you limit yourself. You really limit yourself when you say, well, it can only come through the lottery. You know, a lot of people think, and I, and I did it. I did it for at least over a year and a half. I, I focused on the lottery and I kept on with the lottery. And like I said, I've manifested so many things in my life that I was like, I'm sure of this. And I would boast about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to win. And it's like, you know what? At the end of the day, um, the true belief around that is that you don't believe, or I didn't believe, I, don't, I won't speak for you, but I didn't believe that there was another way that such a, a big amount of money could come to me um, other than winning the lottery. Um, I didn't believe that I could be successful. I didn't believe that, um, you know, I could start my own business or do something or, or just, I just was like, that's the easiest way. That's the best way. Like, hello, everybody wants just a check for $5 million. Um, but you know what? Source wants us to help people too. And yeah, you can say, well, I'll get the lottery and I'll help people. And no, 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 no. You, you have to enjoy what you're doing and you have to live your passion and the money will come. Um, and so, you know, I want you to kind of like, maybe I'll make another video on that if, if people are really receptive to this about the lottery and, and how I don't think um, that's a good place to start when you're trying to find, you know, abundance and things like that. Um, you know, money is freedom at the end of the day. You know, I wrote that in my comments. Um, and so you should be really focusing on the freedom, you know, not the house, not the cars, you know, all these, all these things, you know, it, it's great. It's great. But, um, you got to get to the feeling core of what it is that that money gives you, not focus on the thing that's going to get you that. So if you're still watching, God bless, because I know I've just rambled on for 10 minutes. So, 
focus wheel. So in the middle, you're putting your desire. Oh, there we go. I'm going to get it soon. Okay, so I put, um, I want to be free of a structured job and begin something that is my own. Okay, so again, you're putting something in the middle that is very general, that when you write it, you don't feel resistance. It's not a, uh, it's not an order, you know, I, I want a hamburger with fries. Like, no, you know, I want, I want a meal that's a little fried food and, you know, feels good, tastes good when I eat it. You know, you're not, you're not going to just, you know, vomit everything right here. It's a very simple statement, whatever it is. Um, around that, you're going to put something, um, I put something in relation to Law of Attraction, and I put, um, I have seen and lived the proof that Law of Attraction works, and it's, it's the truth. Um, I've, like I said, I've manifested a lot of things, and so I really truly believe that. So you want to put something around there, maybe related to Law of Attraction, how much you believe in it. Um, for me, anyone can come to me and say to me, it's mumbo jumbo, oh, it's BS, it's this, you know what? You can say what you want. I know the truth in my heart. I've seen it happen. I've seen it work. Um, people around me have seen it work for me. Um, so I really don't take anybody's crap when they try to say I'm crazy because you're crazy for not taking this on. So, okay. So the first pie you want to put something that you already know is true in relation to your desire. So for me, I put, um, I have been successful in my current career, right? And I have. That's, that's the truth. When I wrote it, it felt good. It's not a lie. Um, it's something that is currently true and is very general and is very simple and feels good. The second one, I have obtained substantial increases in money and time as the years have went on. It's the truth. And that, that came about through a lot of visualization and, and things like that too. I got to three. I have always been abundant and never have fallen behind. I have always had what I needed. It's the truth. So again, if you're doing something about wanting this large sum of money, you know, you're watching this video, so you have an iPhone, or you have a computer, you have something, so you have money, right? I mean, you got something in the bank, maybe, you know, you're really in debt, you're doing stuff, but you're eating, you're, you're drinking, you're, you know, you have things, you do have things, um, so you might want to bring that up, um, you know, and just, you know, for an example. Um, I am working less, leaving me more time to do things I want to do, which is true, that that had happened when I wrote that, that felt good. Um, my next statement was, I have traveled but still have more traveling to do. Okay, so now um, I'm kind of sort of getting into um, what I really, really want, um, but yet I'm still focused on something that's already going on. Um, and then I just kind of made a big leap, and you don't necessarily have to. Um, I made the leap to, I have money coming in without me physically having to be anywhere at a certain time. Now, this is, this is huge um, because if you write something as you're writing that you start to get closer to something that's not true and you feel like, oh, you feel that icky feeling like, oh, I don't really believe that, then just erase it. That's why I told you, write this in a pencil um, because you, you are. You are going to write things that just don't feel right. So you got to play with it a little bit um, till you get to something, again, that's one, general, and two, feels good when you write it. Um, so the next one I wrote, I am help people to real, helping people to realize their potential. People live better lives because of me. Um, that felt really good when I wrote that, um, and, and I stuck with it. Um, eight, people seek me out. I do not have to find them, okay? They want to pay for my knowledge. Now, at this time, I didn't know nothing about the business that I'm in now. I knew nothing about what was going to come to me. I just kind of let go, like I said, and just was like, Source knows. Source knows what I need. I need to stop trying to figure it out. I need to stop trying to find the answer. Like, it's going to come, and when it comes, it's going to be amazing, and I trust it, and I'll feel it, and I'll know it. And I and it, I did, and it ended. Um, so I said, I decide when I want to work, the place, the time, and the people. Okay, so what is that again? It's freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Um, and then the last one I put, I work for myself. The money that comes in allows me to travel and is mine. I have done it myself. I have earned it myself and I'm free. Okay, so that's it. I mean, I really, that was the end, the free or the freedom at the end was for me um, what felt really good. Um, so I would suggest, you know, for, for everyone, like I said, you start out something general. Um, before you sit down and really write this, though, I really want you to just kind of um, meditate a little bit on on freedom, on freedom. Um, 
if it's if it's a relationship on love, you know, you know what love feels like, even if it's with your animal, you know what love feels like, even if it's with your, you know, sister or brother or whoever, you know what love feels like. And, and when you're wanting to attract love or you're wanting to attract a mate, um, just focusing on that sometimes can bring it to you. Um, the health, the same thing, you know, you know, you, let's say you're unhealthy or let's say you're not kind of where you want to be weight wise or whatever it may be. Um, you know that you want to be thinner, you want to be healthier because you know that there's things that come along with that. Think about those things that come along with that, you know. So if you want to lose weight, you think about all the things you can do now that you're, you know, lighter. Or if you want to be healthier and you're sick, you think about all the things that will change when you're healthy. And you focus on that stuff. Um, and the money, you know, the money, I think um, most of the comments... Um, the Facebook messages that I got were, were money. A lot of people asked because I did ask what people wanted me to focus on, and, and I got a lot about money. So that's and career. That's why I kind of like did this. Um, if someone wants, if anyone wants me to do um, a relationship one, we can do a relationship one. Um, this video, like I said, it's 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 new to me. This thing, I might have rambled. I probably rambled. You probably won't want to subscribe or do anything. Oh, but. That's a negative belief. That's a limited belief. I want to help people. So um, things like that. You got to catch yourself. You got to stop and say, yeah, is that going to get me closer to what I want or further away? And that definitely was further away. I want to help people. I want to get people on the right track. Um, people have done it for me. And so I owe it, I owe it to you. So if you have any other questions, um, you can private message me. Um, I've made the YouTube video, so you can write comments, you can subscribe, whatever the case may be. I don't know how this really works, um, but uh, I hope I was clear. I know I did ramble on a little bit, um, but I I had to do I had to do it because it's uh, it's 10:20, and I promised everyone I would have it on tonight, so I had to do it. So I hope I helped you. Let me know. Thanks. Bye.